Hey guys, it's Philip from PR Moves. We're here still on the janky camera setup. And we got another video coming right at you today. Today we are talking about Matt Nagy and Kyle Shanahan. I saw a tweet on Twitter by probably the best Bears analyst on YouTube, someone who kind of inspired me to do YouTube, even though I had done YouTube before, um, Robert Schmitz. He's an amazing analyst. He does, has really good ideas about why the Bears succeed and they don't succeed. And he's someone who I looked to for this video to determine why Matt Nagy and Kyle Shanahan are considered two wildly different coaches on like the coaching spectrum, why Matt Nagy is close to being fired and why Kyle Shanahan is close to being like that elite echelon coach. Even though they're pretty much like similar coaches, and I will get into this a lot later, but Shanahan has a far worse record than Matt Nagy, 29 and 35. Now, granted, he's dealt with a lot more injuries. It's fair. But he has one playoff appearance in his four years of coaching. He uh, has really struggled when it comes to play calling in the playoffs. And that's something that can also be attributed to Matt Nagy. He's 28 and 20, but 12 of his... 12 of his 28 wins have come in one season. So like one half of his wins came at once. And then you have the fact that in both of his playoff losses, his offense has failed to score 15 points for the most part. Like losing that Philly game was really the beginning of the end for Matt Nagy. And if you want to include his playoff losses, he's 28 and 22. So Shanahan and Nagy really are considered two offensively minded coaches who have had very good defensive coordinators and defenses. And I think it's going to be really interesting. We're going to deep dive into why Shanahan is considered a far better coach than Nagy and what Nagy can do now that he has Justin Fields, an actual productive quarterback to put him in that upper echelon of coach like Kyle Shanahan. So I appreciate you guys all watching and I'll catch up with you guys later. I think I'm going to be doing more face cam for this video anyways. So I'll see you guys all later. Peace out. All right, we're jumping right into the video here. So, to start, it's important to talk about how Kyle Shanahan and Matt Nagy kind of came up through the NFL. Uh, of course, Shanahan was a disciple of his father, Mike Shanahan, who was a all-time great Hall of Fame head coach. And Matt Nagy was a disciple of Andy Reid. So, it's important to realize Shanahan has been coordinating his offenses and has been building like his own style of play for a lot longer than Matt Nagy. Six years longer than Nagy. Nagy was a one-year offensive coordinator, two, oh, sorry, two-season offensive coordinator for the Kansas City Chiefs. Kyle Shanahan has been an offensive coordinator now for 13 years, counting his time as a head coach. He was on the Texans. He jumped to the Browns with Mike Pettin. He was on the Washington football team, formerly the Redskins. He was on um, the Falcons for a long while, and then he jumped over to San Francisco for their head coaching job. So he's been coordinating and building up his style, his QB-friendly zone run scheme style, for a lot longer than Matt Nagy's even been coaching. And I think it's really important to note, Matt Nagy is such a young coach. Even though he might actually be the same age or older than Shanahan and McVay, he's as a coach, he's only in about his fifth or sixth year of coaching, like ever. He was an assistant for a really long time, and he's really starting to come into his own. Now, when the Bears roster is completely healthy, Matt Nagy's coaching is pretty solid. For the first four weeks of the year, last year when the Bears were 3-1, and one, Matt Nagy's coaching was pretty good. Uh, he used Tariq Cohen well. He used David Montgomery well. Trubisky was getting out of the pocket. It almost looked like the offense that you would see Bill Lazor use at the end of the year to get Trubisky up and going. Bill Lazor was using an offense that Kyle Shanahan partially designed. The motion, zone run, get your quarterback a first read type of scheme. That is Shanahan's offense. So the reason Shanahan is considered such a higher coach than Nagy is because his offensive scheme, which he's had a lot more time to develop, is considerably more quarterback friendly so his quarterbacks have had more success Matt Nagy's scheme depends on his quarterbacks to be able to completely read the field make the right decision step up in the pocket and make the throws he wants very much a perfectionist quarterback sitting there 
Um, which is why getting Justin Fields was so perfect for him is because Justin Fields is very much a perfectionist player. So the fact is, is Shanahan's offense makes it so, oh, quarterback's going to have half the field. He's going to have a short read to his running back. He's going to have a guy in motion. You see it with Sean McVay. You see it with Kyle Shanahan. You see it with Matt LaFleur. You're going to have a guy come in motion. You're going to have the quarterback roll out, and you're going to have a downfield option, a middle option, and a short option, and it's really going to open up the quarter. It's going to make the quarterback's time so much easier. Matt Nagy never did that for any of his quarterbacks. Matt Nagy threw Nick Foles, Chase Daniel, and Mitch Trubisky into the fire for the most part when it came to solving out the offense, and that's why almost all three of them struggled severely. So that's kind of the easy way to answer it is Shanahan has a more quarterback-friendly scheme, so his offenses are typically more efficient and effective. But that's kind of not the end of it, though. Shanahan's also considered an upper echelon coach for his work when his team is injured. Shanahan, when his one year that his team was completely healthy, put together a 13-3 and season. 13 of his 29 wins, half of his wins, came in one season. Because his team stayed completely healthy. Garoppolo stayed healthy. All of the running backs stayed healthy. Kittle was healthy. Debo stayed healthy. And the defense was healthy with Robert Sala there. Matt Nagy's one year where everyone was healthy. Trubisky, Jordan Howard, Cohen, Allen Robinson, Anthony Miller, Trey Burton, the offensive line and the defense. They went 12-4. and four. Both of these coaches really depend on their team staying healthy for overall success. Both of these coaches are not going to um, be successful with injuries i think that's a really interesting kind of similarity between the two of them is they've both severely struggled with injuries the difference is matt Nagy, i believe is much better at rallying his team around him than shanahan is even though shanahan's team stay competitive when matt Nagy lost three-fourths of his offensive line and he lost anthony miller and he lost david montgomery the Bears still managed to get rack up an 8-8 eight eight season for the most part, even though Montgomery ended up coming back. And that was without Jalen Johnson. That was without um, Dane Trevathan. That was, for the most part, with an injured Khalil Mack. That was an excellent job by Matt Nagy to rally his team and keep them competitive. And while Shanahan kept the team competitive, they couldn't win games. Now, granted, I would much take Mitchell Trubisky over CJ Beathard. I'm not saying Nagy's a better coach because he... One, when his teams were slightly less injured than Shanahan's. I am basically saying I believe Matt Nagy's much better at rallying the team around an injured core than Shanahan is. And I think that's one of Nagy's only benefits over Shanahan because Shanahan still got the best out of Mostert and Jeff Wilson and all of those basically backup running backs for the 49ers. I don't think Nagy could do that. I don't. First of all, we don't carry five running backs on our roster for Nagy to get the best out of them. But it's also the fact that... Um, he doesn't do that. The three weeks Montgomery was injured, our running game was the worst in the league. He doesn't rally like that. So Shanahan is considered a better coach because he has an easier offensive scheme that makes his quarterbacks look a lot better and makes his offenses more efficient. And he basically, besides that, is very similarly similar to Matt Nagy. So what can Matt Nagy do to elevate himself to that Shanahan, McVay, Matt LaFleur level of coaching first of all he has to win a playoff game you have to get into the playoffs and win a game Shanahan went on the run to the Super Bowl uh McVay made a run to the Super Bowl and to the NFC divisional round multiple times and Matt LaFleur has gone to the NFC championship twice they all run the same style of offense and Matt Nagy who runs the Kansas City style of offense has not been able to get past a depleted Saints team and a depleted Eagles team so Nagy needs to, for the most part, he needs to win a playoff game, take the player, take the Bears on a deep playoff run, and he needs to make his offense more efficient. If Matt Nagy, as the play caller, never gave up play calling, and the Bears offense was in that 15 to 10 range, and I don't think the Bears offense is a top 10 offense talent-wise, I think that they're a top 10 offense when Matt Nagy is calling the plays right. Allen Robinson can get open, Mooney can get open, Cohen can get open, Komet can get open, Graham can get open, Montgomery can run the ball well, Cohen can run the ball well. We're really deep at running back this year, which is good. So overall, Nagy needs to have an efficient few years of offense, and I do think he'll have that chance as the Bears head coach. Now that Justin Fields is here, I'm pretty sure he's bought himself two or three seasons. So that is why Kyle Shanahan is considered and. Sean McVay and Matt LaFleur, who are all pretty similar coaches to Nagy, 
their offensive efficiency and their easier style of offense, their zone read, let's get the quarterback in motion, cut the field in half, that Bill Lazor ran to make the offense for the Bears look more efficient. If Nagy was able to run something like that or just have his offense in general look as efficient as theirs, he would easily be considered on the same level as Sean McVay and Matt Nagy. So thank you guys all for watching. That's pretty much it. Um, Huge thanks to the video idea for Robert Schmitz, even though he has no idea I'm making the video. Um, And I'll definitely try to get another video for you guys up tomorrow. Thank you guys all for watching. and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out.